out of here. Deborah, for God's sake! Stop, I must have turned it off. Oh, my eardrums are hanging out. What was that terrible noise? Some sort of sand beam. I think it was coming from up there. What is this place? What are they up to? I'm more interested in what happened to Trainer. Did you see what they were doing to him in there? It was horrible. It was so he's being suffocated or something. And those men in gas masks. Liz. Hi. I haven't seen you two before. You knew around here. Oh, yes. Why didn't you change? It doesn't work unless you get into the gear, you know. Can't say I blame you. We look sort of stupid, don't we? Still, you get used to it after a while. Maria. Huh? Your name's Maria. How do you know that? We met before, five years from now. Only you were much older then. Professor Deborah, this is a wise thing to do. Trainer of all. You know as well as I do, Dr. Fraser. Commander Trainer's quite unharmed. That gas drug is only a tranquilizer. That's not what I meant. Uh, good afternoon, sister. <clears throat> good afternoon, Professor. And what did you mean? What happens now? To Trainer? It's quite simple. We let him sleep it off for a bit. Maybe when he comes round, he'll be more reasonable. Oh, I can't hold Trainer here, not now. Do you have another suggestion, Doctor? I think we should abandon the project before it's too late. Before the whole thing gets out of hand. If the government finds out what's really been going on. And yeah. who's going to tell them? Well, sooner or later, those volunteers are going to start asking questions. Once they do, the entire cloning program could be endangered. The cloning program will go ahead as planned, with or without government approval. And, Trainer? Suppose you leave that to me. As a matter of fact, I have one or two rather interesting plans of my own for. Commander Trainer? All clear. Come on in. Is this it? Your sleeping quarters? Home sweet home. All mod cons. <laughs> Do you know they treat us really well here? We get anything we ask for. I must say the beds are comfortable enough. That's nothing. You should taste the food. We get three huge meals a day. Much more than I can get through. Prisoner's last request. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Now, what's all this about Professor Devereux? And me, when was it? Sometime in the future? Well, it's a long story, Maria, and I don't really think you're going to believe it. But you and the others are in great danger. For goodness sake, why? Well, suppose you tell us what you're doing here. What is this place? Well, don't you know? This is the Devereux Institute. We're all volunteers. For what? For scientific research, of course. We're all students. We volunteered to come here during our summer break to help Professor Devereux with his experiments. What experiments? Where have you two been for the past five years? On the moon? Devereaux is working on the process of life expansion. Well, everybody knows that. So it is the longevity theory. I was right. 
Well, we're submitted to daily periods of genetic observation, blood tests under intensive conditions, psychiatry. Psychiatry? In the course of hypnosis. That's where Mr. Desarum comes in. Doesn't it scare you? No, it's nothing to be scared of. Actually, it's quite enjoyable. We don't even know it's happening. So that's what you were doing in that strange room. You were being hypnotized. In the time chamber, you mean? Time chamber? Mm, there are several of them about the building. There's a Regency drawing room, a Neolithic cave, even a space capsule. Well, it's all done by special sound waves. So by wearing these strange clothes and sitting in the middle of that strange room, you can be transported through time. Right back into the reign of George III. Oh, it's fantastic. But exhilarating, I can assure you. Devereaux must be using psychiatric research for the early stages of the cloning process. Well, then what was I doing in the room without windows? Room without windows? What on earth is that? Commander, can you hear me? It's me, Fraser. How are you feeling? No, don't try to move. You'll be all right. I promise you, you'll be all right. What have you done to me? Come. Come, move. Listen to me carefully, Commander. They've used the tranquilizer drop. You won't be able to move. That Your muscles have been paralyzed. But it's only a temporary measure. In two or three hours, the tension will go. No, no, Commander, don't. It's quite useless. Please, please listen to me. It wasn't my fault. You've got to believe me. I didn't want this to happen. I was forced into it. Fraser, help me. There's nothing I can do. Deborah would kill me. Please. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I trusted Deborah. We all did. Well, everything he told us seemed to make sense. What exactly did he tell you, Maria? How on earth did he persuade you and the others to come to a place like this? Oh, Simon, don't you understand? He didn't have to persuade us. We answered his advertisement in the newspaper. Advertisement? I, I remember the first time he interviewed me. Well, he was so quiet and gentle and logical. Well, men of his age usually find it difficult to talk with young people, but not him. He told me that if I helped, that getting old would one day be a thing of the past. And now you're trying to tell me that you've actually seen me as an old woman five years from now. I know it sounds incredible, Maria, but it's no more unbelievable than you being hypnotized to a different time phase. Well, even if it were true, why should I be turned into an old woman? The whole point of these experiments is to prolong life. Not reduce it. The longevity tests have never been really perfected. That's why Commander Train has been trying to get his hands on the secret of the longevity drug. And well, nobody's ever used any drugs on us. Not yet. But they will. We are volunteers. Well, Deborah assured us that this was the one way that young people could make a valuable contribution to society. We were never brought here against our will. Then why can't you walk out of here any time you like? Why do you have to be caged in like animals? It isn't true. Oh, it isn't true, I tell you. We're here for a purpose. We don't need iron bars. Maria, don't you see? You've got to find a way of getting out of here before it's too late. You mustn't let the future happen. And this boy, where did he come from? They were among the new batch of volunteers, the ones you interviewed last week. I never interviewed either of these two. I think you'd better tell me what's going on around here, Desarum. I can assure you, Professor, that neither the boy nor the girl are anything to do with me. When they came into the identification room, I thought... Where are they now? In the wards, I presume. You presume? Ward sister. Now, you've got to get out of here. If they catch you in my room, there'll be trouble. What about you, Maria? What are you going to do? I don't know. Not until I've had a chance to talk with the others. Now, when you get out of here, turn left along the corridor outside. At the bottom, there's a door on your right. That's the laundry. Well, nobody ever used it at this time of day, so you can get out through the window. But we don't want to get out yet. We've too much to do here first. 
Maria's right. If they catch us here, there's no knowing what they might do to us. We can't achieve anything by getting caught. All right. Now be careful, whatever you do. See you again sometime in the future. Too late, it's the ward, sister. Quick, over here. You're alone? Yes, sister, more or less. Who's that? It's uh, Joan Peterson. She had a bit of a headache after the hypnotherapy. I told her to sleep it off. She's only just managed to get a sleep, poor thing. Isn't it time you ordered meal break? Yes, sister. Just going. Well, hurry up, then. It's all right. You can come out now. You must have at least taken your shoes off. <laughs> Nice little chat, Commander. What? Oh, I'm sorry. How inconsiderate of me. You have a thirst. Alum. You know, we have a lot to talk about, you and I, Commander. A lot of work ahead of us. I want you to tell me all about yourself. Your past, your present, your future. I mean, that's what we're concerned with at the moment, aren't we? that door. It must have been like this all the time, even when trainer was being tranquilized. I want a guard placed on this room night and day. Nobody's to enter without my permission. Is that clear, Dr. Fraser? Yes, sir. I thought I gave instructions that no personal jewelry was to be worn inside the time chambers. I don't understand it. Everyone's checked before they enter. On second thoughts, you can forget about the guard on this room. If we have mice, then we must set a trap. Lost it, but you can't have. But I have, I tell you. Mummy gave it to me. I know I was wearing it. Well, where could you have dropped it? Oh, no, not inside the time chamber. Well, it must have fallen off and we're hiding behind the sofa. Well, it's too late to do anything about it now. We must find out what's happened to Trainer. Oh, Simon, you promised we could go home. Oh, please don't let's stay here any longer. Look, you saw what happened to Trainer. Yes, I know. For some reason or other, Deborah wants him out of the way, and we've got to find out why. Simon, I'm scared. After what happened to me in that terrible room upstairs, this place gives me the creeps. Of course, that's it. What is? That's why they must have taken Trainer, the room without windows. Come on. Oh, no, Simon, I couldn't bear it. I just couldn't. Oh, please don't wake me. Look, come on, miss. There's nothing to be scared of. You don't think I'd let anything happen to you, do you? You're very funny. Anyway, if we can find out what's happened to Trainer, well, it could solve quite a lot of problems. And you should know by now, no real harm can come to us. Not when we're in the past. Now, come on. This way. Tell security to close the main gate. I want no one to enter or leave the building until I give further instructions. Yes, sir. Ready when you are. Is he conscious? Yes, but the drug is still active. He Thank knows you. exactly what we've done to him. I want Commander Trainer prepared for primary course hypnotherapy. One hour from now. Commander 
a trainer. What is it? What do you want? Huh? Who are you? It's us. Listen, Simon. You know us. No, of course he doesn't know us. This is only 1965. Keep away from me. Don't come near me. We're your friends. We've come to help you. We saw what happened to you. It was Devereaux. Devereaux. Why are they doing this to you, Commander? You must tell us. You want to help me? Yes, just tell us what you want us to do. Devros, mad. Mad. He wants to destroy me. He wants to destroy us all. He wants to destroy us all. Yes, Commander, I understand. <clears throat> Got to stop him. Go to my office. Tell them. We'll take you with us. We'll help you escape. Oh. Too late. Okay. I can't move. My, my body is pa paralyzed. Simon, paralyzed? No time now. Go to my office. Get help. Quickly. All right, we'll go, Commander, but is there nothing we can do? Oh, nothing. Hurry, please, hurry, hurry. Come on, miss. I'll sleep alone first. I'll ring if I need. I know you can hear me. I just want to talk to you. We've come a long way together, you and I. We had a dream. A dream that is about to become a reality. The human mind and body will live on, trainer. Think of that. Something that man before has never dared to attempt. And you wanted to throw away such an opportunity. But I will not allow our progress to stop there. By your sacrifice, we shall change the face of the world. The technological world of tomorrow will be a vastly different place from that of today. And do you know why? Because of you. I shall give you immortality. One day the world will be yours. Yours and mine. in what he says. After all, technology must find its way in the world. We can't progress without it. No, you. You and your scientific rubbish. One of these days, Devereaux, or, or somebody like him, is going to blow up this whole world to pieces. Now we know it could happen. God say go! I'm still tired. Commander Trainer, I know it's difficult for you to believe, but we know you're going to be all right. We've seen you in the future. What are you talking about? And we met you before. We helped you back at the old naval station with Gottfried and the German raiding party. Don't you remember? No, of course he doesn't remember. It hasn't happened to us yet. You know about the naval station? You were my father's commanding officer, Frank Skinner. You must remember him, Commander. You must. Skinner. Skinner. You're his daughter. Yes. Please, I don't understand. I don't know how you got here. And I don't know how it's all mixed up with Gottfried and the, the naval station. 
But if you're really Skinner's daughter, then I know I can trust you. But if you want to save me, you must save yourselves. Now go. Please go. All right. Pope will be back. years ago. Whatever's happened to Trainer in 1965, we just can't prevent. The only way we can help him now is to stop the future. Devereaux's vision of the future. We must get back to our own time phase. Come on, we better use the stairs. I told you Tottenham and smash him. Yeah, you should have listened to me. Yeah, got a line-up. Yeah, 110 Bob. Hey? Eh? No, no, they haven't got any chance at all. Look, you, you, you just ring Uncle Fred. He'll be able to tell you what to do. Hey? Eh? Hello, uh, uh, very good, sir. Yeah, yes, I'll, uh, I'll send it right down straight away. Thank you. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Your bracelet. Oh, it's too late now. We can't risk being caught again. But if they find it in the time chamber, they know we've been in there. Well, come on, it won't take a minute. Oh, that's a bit of luck. Be careful. If we were hiding on the floor, what's your bracelet doing there? Come on, we're going to get out of here. <gasps> Sam! Sam, what are they going to do to us? I don't know, but whatever happens, you're not to tell them a thing. Do you understand me? Not a thing. We're going to get away now? Yes, we are. They, they won't hold us. They wouldn't dare. What's that noise? It's coming from these things. It's the beam. Sam, it's a sound beam. Are they going to hypnotize us? Hold on, Miss. Whatever you do, hold on. I can't bear it. The noise. Concentrate on anything, but for whatever you do, hold on. 